Hello, and welcome to this Price a Job tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Timber Beams module for flitch beams. To access the flitch beam module, go to the module toolbar and select the structural members category. Then open the sub menu for timber beams and select flitch beam. Then create the module. A flitch beam is a compound beam made up of steel plates and timber beams, sandwiched together and fastened with bolts, primarily used in wood frame structures. We have a variety of options in constructing our flitch beam. We can use either a single timber with two steel plates, two timber beams with one steel plate, three steel plates with two timber beams, or three timber beams sandwiched around two steel plates. The most commonly used flitch beam would be one steel plate sandwiched by two timber beams. To build out our module, first we select the quantity of beams we'll require, and the length of each beam, in this case 8 meters per beam. Price's job uses this information to quickly do a calculation for the materials and labor for both the flitch beam and the fixings. Under the flitch beam stage, we can select the drop-down menu to select our flat bar steel plate. In this example, we might select a 200 by 10 millimeter. And then for the timber, select the drop-down to select the corresponding material. In this case, we'll just select the next nearest size. Price's job automatically calculates the installation hours required based on an average industry estimate. If you expect that your job will be done in a shorter or longer period of time, you can adjust this as necessary. And this will cover all the labor required for the drilling and installing the fixings. Next, we can specify our fixings. We have options here for high tensile bolts, coach bolts, or a threaded bar. In each of these cases, we can select the drop down menu to choose the appropriate material. For coach bolts, we can see a variety of materials, and same with the threaded bar. If the material that we prefer to use is not shown in the drop down menu, we can select Edit Pack, and we can search the Price of Job library to find the material that we're looking for. If we don't see the material that we want, we can click Add Material and manually input the material by adding a title, unit, price, category, and website link. In this case, we will select High Tensile Bolts, and we'll select an M10 by 100 mm and price job lets us know that the beam thickness for this flitch beam is 104 millimeters, and the bolts that we have selected are too short. So we can go back to our drop-down menu and select a more appropriate material. And that clears the error. Next, we can specify the spacing in millimeters. This is the spacing of the fixings between the center of the timber. And based on this spacing, price job will calculate how many fixings are required. In this case, 28 high tensile bolts. If we were to change our spacing, say to 500 millimeters, the system would automatically recalculate the quantity of fixings. That would increase it to 38 bolts. If we're using a threaded bar, we can select the drop down menu to choose the diameter, and then we can specify the stud length. In this case, 150 millimeters is fine. As we've been making all of these various adjustments, Price Job has been automatically generating a well written description outlining the materials and labor involved. If we would like to add any notes to this, we can just click Add Note. And here a text editor appears where we can input any notes that we want to add with icons included for inclusions, allowances, and exclusions. If we need to edit the automatic descriptions here, we can do so by deselecting auto descriptions and then make any necessary changes. However, because we have deselected auto, any further changes that we make to our estimate will not be reflected in the description. And if we turn the auto descriptions back on again in order to reflect these updates, the manual edits that we input will be erased. So if you have any edits to make to the automatic descriptions, make sure you save this for last. And that's how to use the Timber Beams module for flitch beams. Thank you for using Price a Job.